Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? Um, so some of you have been, some of you have been asking for me to make like a cooking video, and um, yeah, I feel like I'd make a better one showing my face and stuff with better camera angles while I'm, um, you know, awake late at night when my parents are asleep. But right now they're out of the house. I don't know for how long. So I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna make some fried rice. So I decided I would just, you know, film it make this like a first preliminary cooking video. Um, I used some scissors, like the master chef Daniel Lord to cut up this leftover roast pork. There's some leftover shrimp stir fry thing. Some green onions I found in the fridge. I don't think they're being used. Some day old rice because that's how you get better fried rice texture or it takes a lot less time to like dry it up in the pan you know well it's already dry because of the fridge um you know you got the classic um chicken bullion <laughs> some rice wine and got a little bit of garlic because there's no white onions in the fridge and i'm too lazy to peel and chop a scallion so I mean, not a scallion, a white onion. So I'm just gonna use garlic. And I think the good thing about fried rice um, is that you can pretty much put anything in it. Oh, um, I forgot to um, include some eggs. Just, all right, let's do that. Okay, we got some eggs. Man, this is your typical Asian fridge, overcrowded and full of crap. That's gonna go bad. Um, let's see. I'm wondering why there's all this stuff set up. It's cause um, my mom is running a food business thing because of COVID. I guess she was bored, and you know I help out a little bit sometimes, but it's mostly just. I'm not going to say what she's making because she posts on Facebook, so that's just one other way I could get doxxed, and right now, I really don't want that to happen. Man, I normally use two hands when doing this. Oh my god, disaster. Oh, okay. Decent, decent. Um, I'm going to put <laughs> two eggs. Yeah, okay. I think I'm getting the hang of that. And got the pan preheating. Always make sure to wash your hands because, you know, that's kind of disgusting. I always wash my hands, especially after I crack eggs and choke the chicken. Wait, what? Just ignore that. Um, so, yep, pans might be a little bit too hot, but that's fine. I'm just gonna grab spatula. Um, gonna set this down quickly. back in business um so we got some garlic frying in the oil just gonna put a little bit more so what you want to do is typically fry your aromatics first and you know i'm just gonna use some uh time lapse stuff to speed that up let me just Wow, should I be showing the inside of my house? Oh God, I'm doxing myself so hard right now. Holy shit, okay. So, just gonna put, I'm gonna have to wash this over and make sure I don't film outside the window. Um. Holy shit, this is not a good idea. 
Cooking with one hand is probably one of the worst ideas I've had in a while. Um, so we got the plate there. Shit, this is bad. Um, put in the pork, I guess. Stir fry that for a bit. And you just want to warm it through, you know. Pork. Um, uh, so nice. It's cushioning up nicely. Throwing this leftover shrimp. I think there's like wanton skins, but whatever. It's gonna taste fine. It's gonna taste fine. I am a master chef. Um, you know what? I'm gonna plate it in a bowl so it looks more aesthetic and it looks like I know what I'm doing. Nice, we got the bowl. Okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a beast. Okay, so now that that's been warmed up for a bit, you just Dump in the rice. And it's been broken up because... And Wait, just give me a second. Yep, so added in the rice, it's been broken up because I put oil on my hands and just manually broke it apart. Just add a little bit of oil if you think it's dry. You don't want your fried rice to be too dry, but you don't want it to be too wet, too oily either. You just want it in that like sweet spot. So you'll typically, I guess, make decisions depending on like how fatty the meat you add is. Thankfully, this one is this cut is fairly lean, so I have to compensate by adding a little bit more oil. The shrimp's kind of overcooked. I probably should have added it last. And now that's done. Just, you know. Add in these splashes of rice wine turn up the heat so it'll dry up faster and yeah I guess pro tip is that you can season your fried rice with things other than salt um forgetting one really important thing is the sesame oil <laughs> okay um that's gonna be added at, at the end but yeah so turn up the heat, the rice is starting to fry up nicely. And yeah, now is a good time to put the chicken bouillon. Uh, if you don't want to use this stuff because it has MSG, let me just tell you that most Chinese food has MSG, but pretty much all food has MSG, or not MSG exactly, but glutamic acid it's what makes mushrooms and cheese and other things taste good msg is just a sodium binded one sodium molecule binded to glutamic acid so really don't worry too much about it all that msg is bad for you stuff is really just a myth um, all the studies on it were, were done um, by giving rats like their body weight in MSG, but obviously that's gonna kill most people. Consuming your body weight in anything, pretty much, so it's kind of stupid that research was based on that. But yeah, just break up any chunks of rice you see. Uh, fry it a little bit more, then um,
am I doing? Brain kind of froze. Okay. So put all the rice on one side of the pan. Just put a drizzle of oil so the egg gets some of it. And um, now dump your eggs into the side of the pan. And just let that cook for a bit. Okay. want the rice to get out of the spoon, just tap it against the thing like that. But yeah, typically want to let this cook. Um, preferably use a non-stick pan because if you don't use one, then it's just going to stick and the right, not only will the egg stick, but so will the rice. And you just want to lightly scramble the egg and don't mix it in the with the rice until it's like 80 to 90% cooked because if you do, then it'll just coat the rice and uh, get stuck in between the rice and not cook evenly. So I just want to scramble it by itself until it's about like this consistency. And then once it's like this, you kind of just mix it around, start to break up the uh, egg fibers, I guess, whatever you call them, to get that classic um, Chinese fried rice appearance would be, you know, it's not like those fake fried rice where they cut the egg into like a roll and then like cut it, although that's not bad too, but this is more like how you would have it authentically. Um, yeah, so just stir that around. And once you get to this point, you can basically, um, okay, what are you going to do? Oh, yeah. And now is when you add in the green onions because you don't want this to brown too much. It'll impart a lot of flavor. It's just like barely toasted. So put that um, into the mixture. Start to toss it up. And at this point, turn off the heat. And this is when you add things like the white pepper because um, that will actually start to lose its flavor as it's being cooked. Green onions, I guess their flavor profile will change, but you kind of want um, to have that fresh, I guess, aroma from it. So you would add that last. Then add white pepper, and the residual heat of the pan should help toast it slightly, but not help it lose its flavor. And you can always add more later. Um, just a few drops of sesame oil because that's how you get that authentic Chinese taste and um, some salt taste, just estimate. And you know what? You could add a little bit of like a dash, a pinch of sugar too because would just be kind of like elevating the natural sweetness of everything but I plan to eat this with uh, sriracha so I'm not gonna do that but anyways this is my you know shrimp and pork fried rice this is probably one of the easier things to make out there if you have like a non-stick pan honestly you don't try this without a non-stick pan because it'll just be pain to clean up. Really that's the key uh, to making stuff like this, especially stir fries because it's just so much less effort is required. But yeah, I will cut the video now and film myself plating it or after it's plated. So this is the final product. Um, that's what it looks like. And what I like to do is just drizzle some sriracha over the top like this because I feel like it just rounds out the dish even more but it should be pretty good on its own I tasted some and yeah that is a pretty typical meal for me um yeah let's see 
give that a little mix it's kind of hot right now um but damn let's see mm. okay 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 Ooh, I'm a fucking beast. Okay, that was um, that was that was that's just pretty good. Not gonna lie, I think I'm a pretty decent chef, and you know maybe my technique's not the best, but I feel like I certainly have a pretty good command on flavors. I think I'm gonna call this series Neat Cuisine. This is the first episode, and this is Company Neat signing out.